authentication using local database. Now, if you want, we can do AAA authentication by either using a local database. And the local database, we are going to store the username and the passwords on the local device. And if any user is trying to log into the device by using either Telnet or SSH, the router is going to check the local database, the local username and the password and it will allow the user to log into that particular device. Now we can use either this method or we can actually tell the router to send this information to the external servers like TACAX server and we can also do some external server based authentication also. So more on this we'll see in the next classes. So but, uh, but commonly we use external server based authentication which is referred as a primary authentication method and due to some reason if that fails we can always use the local as a fallback fallback authentication method using this one as a local local as a fallback so in this example i'm going to configure only the local authentication uh, but in the next next videos we'll, we'll also see how to configure on the external servers as well so authentication using local database as i said the username and the password are stored on the local device to which you are trying to authenticate or log in and it's going to store the username and the password in the local database and practically not a scalable solution in practically not a scalable solution so if you have a very small network with with some uh, very very small less number of devices like five to six we can still go with the local database now to configure this local database authentication first we have to enable the triplet process now triplet process by default will be enabled disabled so we need to enable this in order to use any of the AAA commands. So AAA new model is a command to enable the AAA process. And then we can configure one local user account so that I can, whenever a user tries to log into this router via Telnet, I must have a user account created. And that's what we are trying to do here, create one user account, or we can create multiple user accounts as per the requirement. The next thing we need to enable the AAA, AAA authentication. And that's what we are doing. Triple authentication should be enabled for login. Now, if I use a login option, means I'm trying to enable for any user who is trying to log in through VTY or the console lines by using any any of the Telnet or SSH or any of the uh, web web sessions like HTTP or any other sessions. So for the login, and then we can give any name for the list. Now, this is actually the list of authentication methods we can use. So we can configure uh, either just local, that's what I'm trying to do here. Or in the, in the next scenarios, we can create a list with a name called CCIE, which is going to use uh, maybe a TACAX protocol as a primary authentication method. And the second option I can tell radius and the third I can say local. And then we apply this list inside the console or the VTB lines. So that if any user is trying to log into the device, either of these lines, it's going to use this authentication list and that list refers to use TACAX authentication. If that is not responding, go back to the radius or if it is not working, then you can also fall back to the local authentication. So in my example, I'm not using multiple, so I'm just using only local authentication. But in the later on sessions, when we configure with external servers, the most of the configuration still remains the same. So this, these are the basic commands we, we need to configure. So to verify this, I, I got a pre-configured topology here uh, in my packet tracer. And I got the routers which, which are pre-configured with 192.168. This PC is pre-configured with 192.168.1.network network, and the routers are also pre-configured. Like if I go to router one, and if I try to verify swipe interface brief, this is my gateway 192.168.1.100 and I'm able to ping to my PCs in the lab like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 and 1.4 computers. So in this scenario, I'm going to uh, configure this router with a local uh, authentication process. Now to enable the local authentication, the same commands I can use. So I'll go to router 1 and I'll quickly configure AAA new model. And then we we'll create one user account, username, admin, and the password. And then we'll also enable AAA authentication. 
Now when I say triple A authentication, now when we use triple A, we can use, if you use question mark, you've got multiple options like triple A authentication, authorization, and accounting. At this point of time, we are using authentication. And then we can do authentication for multiple options like we can use it for enable password, enable authentication for login on the console or the video lines, or even you can use them in the PPP authentication process, but generally in the broadband connections or on the service for networks. So in my case, I'm using for login. Now there are two options here. I can use either a specific name for the list of authentication methods I want to use like I'm using CCI here or I can just use an option of default. Now if I use a default name which means uh, you don't need to apply on the console or the VT balance because if I use the name called default here instead of instead of a specific name for the authentication list uh, it, it, it will be applied automatically. So let me try default option and then I'll, I'll also modify with the uh, other options. So I'll use default as of now, and I want to use a local authentication, but not the group. If you are using server-based, we use group authentications, but at this point of time, I'll be using just local authentication. Now, if I use default, I don't need to apply on these lines. So which means automatically it ensures that anyone trying to log in through, through this, any of the line, they will be using a default list of authentication with a local authentication. So we can also configure primary radius and TACACs like that. So for testing, we need to go to any one of the device. So I'll, I'll go to my computer and I'll try to ping to my 1.100 device. That's my router. So from this PC, I will initiate a telnet connection and then I'll verify logging with the local user account. So if I say telnet 182.168.1.100, you can see the admin and the password is NY123. And you can see I'm able to log. Okay. So the if I use a default option like on the router one, I'm using default option. So it will it will ensure that you don't need to you need you don't need to apply on the any of the lines. So it, it's something enabled by default. But again, if you don't want to use default, preferable you, you, you actually apply on the specific lines, whichever you want. So that's the reason uh, I generally don't prefer the default option. So we'll try to remove this default option and then we'll try to enable the login authentication with some name. So whenever we are using a name other than default, then it becomes mandatory for us to apply a login authentication with that list name saying that anyone who is trying to log in on the VTV line, they, the authentication method should follow the list, what I have mentioned in the CCI list. And it shows only local authentication should be allowed at this point of time. So again, if you verify now, or else if, if you don't apply, it's not going to work. So you, need, you must apply this. And if I try once again, I go to my router, can move on to other device. I'll try to ping to my 192.168.1.100 to verify the reachability, the LAN connection. And then I'll try to initiate a connection from 1.100. The username is admin and NY123. So maybe I mistyped the password. Now you can see I'm able to log in. But if you go on the console line, because we didn't apply this list on the console line. So if I go back to my console, so it's not applied. You can see there's no authentication applied on the console screen. So if you want to do the same thing for the console, then we need to go to the console and then we have to say login authentication CCI. So mostly we don't we don't enable on the console screen because uh, for console access, you need a physical security to the router. So, uh, but still, you know, if, you, if anyone trying to log in on the console, you want the router to prompt for the username and the password, then we have to enable on this line as well. 